America's pastime. Yes. The Phillies have gotten off to a fantastic start this season. They have the best record in baseball after becoming just the fifth team since 2000 to win 35 of their first 49 games. Tell me this. Do you think the Phillies should be the National League favorite? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, no question about it, Molly. They have won 27 of 33. This is the best Phillies start since 1976. They got a great offense. They have an excellent starting rotation. And they got Moxie. The thing you like about the Phillies more than anything else, they're a competent team. Now, they did lose the two games last year to Arizona, which almost cost me my job, as we remember that when I said I was going to retire after Arizona beat them two times. Yeah, that was a little aggressive. That was a little rough. Let's not do that again. <laughs> yeah. now, I'm not going to go that far, but you got to love the way they're playing. they got a six-game lead on Atlanta. Yep. I mean, the Braves, they got a six-game lead. Uh, and so you have to love that. And here's something that's interesting. Ranger Suarez won his ninth game last night. He's 9-0 and with a 1.36 ERA. You know the last pitcher to be that way and after his first 10 starts? 1966, Juan Marichal. And he's their third well, starter. Your memory. Your memory. Right, I'm just going to give deal. it a standing all right I'm glad, you, I'm right glad now. you brought up Ranger Suarez. I mean, I've been very impressed. I'm interested in seeing if he's going to be able to continue. This is a guy that's never won more than 10 games in his career, and he's already 9-0. So you got to give credit where credit is due, but you got to wonder whether it's an aberration or is it something that can continue. I'm looking at Trey Turner. He's balling right now, second in the league with a 343 batting average. Got to give love there. Alec Bohm hit 330 with, 34, with 24 extra base hits. I'm loving that. Bryce Harper's got his 10 home runs, his 35 RBIs. He's doing Doing his job, but I would remind those Philly faithful out there, this is their best start since 1993. That year they went to the World Series, but they ran into Joe Carter. I would remind everybody about that. They didn't win it despite yep. their fantastic start point. because the heroics of Joe Carter ultimately ruined the day. So we got to pay attention to that as well. I respect it. I'm rooting for them. I love Philadelphia like a second home to me. Let's see if they're going to hold up to continue, you know, the great season that they're having. Mm -hmm. All right, let's stay with the Phillies. Mad Dog, yes. I'm a sucker for a good love story. You are. They're also making headlines off the field. Bryce Harper recently helped a New Jersey high school senior get to his prom. Mad Dog, what do you think about this promposal? Well, first off, she runs to Bryce Harper with the hug. You got to go to the boyfriend first. Watch this. Now she runs to Bryce wow. Harper. Wow. You got to go to the boyfriend. Just snatching her. It's almost like the boyfriend doesn't count. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, then she remembered the boyfriend. And then the father comes out to get an autograph and shake hands if we let the camera roll, Nick, uh, oh from that standpoint. Hold on. Anyway, Hold on. Hold that bothered on. me. Go to the, go to the uh, Harper. That's go a ahead. great applaud, door on that house. Applaud the kid. You know what? He shoved ego aside. What he said is, I want the girl. I know she's a Bryce Harper fan. Let me get Bryce Harper. It is a memory that she will never forget. The objective, doggy, because I know you might be a bit too old school to remember. It's to get her to say yes. Your lovely, understand. wonderful wife, who is the queen. You understand? So you get away with a lot of stuff, okay? Because she's just so wonderful. But here's the you. deal. You're, You're supposed to provide indelible memorable moments for them to hold on to. As long as at the end of the day, she gets to say, you did that for me. She, the guy, will get the girl. And that's what happened. She might have hugged him last, but she hugged him most. That's what counts. Look at that, look at that, this lovable I Rudolph thought, Valentino I, over I'm there. not even going to, I'm not going to go negative and focus on that she hugged the wrong guy first. <laughs> but I'm just going to say for the guy, that was so thoughtful and so yes, it was. sweet see? and see? so well Look at Molly. Done. Look at Molly right there. What I is she saying to you, doggy? She's saying, I'm hey. I'm just being honest is, with you. Hold on, Molly. Someone, yeah. Molly, you see what you're doing? Molly, Mo what did Molly just I say, doggy? That was so thoughtful. Sincere. From That's her heart. That's the go. So thoughtful. That's the go. He put an effort. You know, we pay attention. Uh-huh. The hug, maybe slightly red flag, but, you know, she might have just been excited, so we'll let it slip. Look, he it going back to the ball ball. the ball. Okay, I'm just saying. All right, I'm with you, I'm with you. It's a once-in-a-lifetime right, moment. He's the yeah. one that's going to get most of the hugs. You're yeah. good. Yeah. You're good.